Hey everybody, it's been a while since I did a mental health moment. I was trying to fight this. I really wasn't going to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it because it's something that I'm still processing or, you know, dealing with, but had to come to the point of saying this is true. <laughs> Maybe I do have some form of depression. And what made me come to that point is this post here that I saw online on Sunday, high functioning depression is so scary because no one knows that you're not okay. And even if you say something, people don't care because you don't present as someone who's falling off the deep end. As many of you know, I'm normally the one that always go out and help people um, that always go above and beyond. So even in my darkest moment, I'm normally that person that that goes out and, you know, just make things happen, right? I go to work every day like normal. And speaking with my therapist some time ago, he said, have you ever thought about depression? That you could be dealing with some form of depression. I was like, mm -mm -mm, there's no way I'm depressed. I get up every morning and, you know, I go to work. I'm constantly helping people. He said, but what about the isolation? When you get home at the end of the day, you don't talk to nobody. You don't return phone calls. You don't return text messages. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about the reason why you're so tired? And I'm like, wow, no, I'm not depressed. Even up until um, the last session I had a couple weeks ago, he was like, have you thought about depression again? No, mm -mm. I'm not depressed. I'm just in a little rut right now that I'm trying to get out of. And then I read that post and I was like, wow, high functioning depression. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say, right? A lot of us are operating in depression, you know, with depression, but we're high functioning because we're always used to being a go-getter. This video is not to um, basically beat us down, right, for just pushing through because we feel like we have no one in our corner. But I want you to, I just want to say, it's okay to go see a therapist. Oftentimes growing up in church, when I would, you know, when we would talk about things that we were going through, pray. Let God handle it. But never once have we been told, go see someone to talk to. Um, then some of us may be saying right now, I have my mama. I have my daddy. I have my cousins. I have my aunt. I have my uncle. I have my pastor in them. But are you really 100% truthful to the person that you're talking to? A lot of times we look for someone that's com you know, out of comfort, someone that we can relate to someone that we're used to talking to, but we have some deep down dark stuff that we never bring to surface or that we never deal with. And what ends up happening, we end up battling that deep dark thing because if I told that person that I'm comfortable talking to, would they still look at me the same? Would they still talk to me the same? Would they still trust me if I was to tell them my truth? I'm not saying that you're not telling the people your truth, but are you telling the whole truth? Are you talking about the whole person? Go find a therapist that you don't know. I'm telling you, it has been the best decision that I have made in like over these past two years by seeing a therapist that I do not know um, because I've been able to uncover some things and process some things that I have told some people about, did surface level stuff with some people about, but now I'm digging deeper to process so that I can become the whole person that I am to be. Um, saying that you're depressed or having symptoms of depression, it's okay. It's a part of life, right? We all have it. But in order to be able to overcome it, we have to acknowledge it we have to take ownership and be willing to process the stuff that we are just suppressing and saying, okay, God is going to handle it. And then oftentimes we'll say we've forgotten about it, 
but then it'll keep coming up to surface. Something will trigger it. So let's just deal with our stuff, people. This is just meant to encourage you. There's so many people over these past months that have been reaching out, that have been texting me. Um, I was supposed to be doing things for people. I wanna say I'm sorry. Part of it is this depression thing, right? Mental health is real. This is something that we have to stop playing with. Going to see a therapist does not mean that you're gonna be put on medication. Going to see a therapist does not mean that you're crazy. In fact, it means that you're breaking the cycle of your family and you're getting the help that you need because a lot of the trauma and stuff that you have is passed down from generations before. Come on, people. Let's deal with our stuff. Have a blessed day.